Hello, and welcome to my channel. Attackers have increasingly leveraged the widely used remote access tool installed on hundreds of millions of endpoints to break into victims' environments. In this presentation, I will discuss how they did it, a brief history of this threat vector, and most importantly, how to use it securely. I am Bill Zelinsky, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. TeamViewer is software that organizations have long used to enable remote support, collaboration, and access to endpoint devices. Like other legitimate remote access technologies, it is also something that attackers have used with relative frequency to gain access on target systems. Two attempted ransomware deployment incidents that researchers at Huntress recently observed are the case in point. The attacks that Huntress flagged targeted two dis disparate endpoint devices belonging to Huntress's customers. Both incidents involved failed attempts to install what appeared to be ransomware based on a leaked builder for LockBit 3.0. Further investigation showed the attackers had gained initial access to both endpoints via TeamViewer. The logs pointed to the attacks originating from an endpoint with the same host name, indicating the same threat actor was behind both incidents. On one of the computers, the threat actor spent just over seven minutes after gaining initial access via TeamViewer, while the other, the attacker session, lasted more than 10 minutes. Huntress's report did not say how the attackers might have taken control of the TeamViewer instances in both cases. It is possible that the threat actor was able to purchase access from an initial access broker and that the credentials and connection information may have been obtained from other endpoints through the use of info stealers, a keystroke logger, or some other means. There have been several past incidents where attackers have used TeamViewer in similar fashion. One was a campaign last May by a threat actor looking to install the XMBrig crypto mining software on systems after gaining initial access via the tool. Another incident a data exfiltration campaign that Huntress investigated in December. Incident logs showed that the threat actor had gained an initial threshold in the system victim's environment by a team viewer. Much earlier, Kaspersky in 2020 reported on attacks it had observed on individual control system environments that involved the use of remote access technologies such as RMS and team viewer for initial access. TeamViewer itself has implemented mechanisms to mitigate the risk of attackers misusing its software to break into systems. The company has claimed that the only way an attacker can access a computer via TeamViewer is as if the attacker had the TeamViewer ID and associated password. Here are some steps organizations can take to protect themselves against misuse. Exiting TeamViewer when the software is not in use using the software's block and allow list feature to restrict access to specific individuals and devices, restricting access to certain features for incoming connections, and denying connections from outside the enterprise network. The company has also pointed to TeamViewer support for conditional access policies to allow administrators to enforce remote access rights. That's all for this presentation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.